Hey people, it's Dom. We're here at a very windy Elm Barnes, as you can see behind me. If you don't know what Elm Barnes is, then uh, I don't know where you've been. Um, but yeah, here we are at Elm Barnes. Um, all four plots have been sold now. So we're just here doing a bit of a case study, a bit of a feature to let everyone know how it went. Some content to use with future developers. And uh, yeah, a chat with Barkley and Chris to see um, how they felt, a little bit of a testimonial, see if there's anything we can improve on. But yeah, you can, if I turn around here, you can see the four sold board behind me. So very satisfying. But yes, um, I'm just going to bring you along to show you a bit of behind the scenes. Hello. The packs are coming to Elm Barnes. Hello. This is plot two, plot one there, plot four there, and then plot three in the middle where we're going to be doing something today. There's Barkley. See, Jenny knows how to do things. <laughs> Brings her own coffee, ma <laughs> coffee machine along to the shoots. Yeah, Cheers, Jenny. <laughs> so we've been working with the developers here for about the past 18 months now, and we can't remember what we were going to say. I don't know where. Why did you choose Hortons? Basically, to break traditions. Okay. Um, we know that you're a fresh agency with new ideas. That's... Jenny, what's your favourite feature about Elm Barnes? Got two. Um, so the whole of upstairs on plot one, and I, and I really love these work surfaces because they're really tactile. They are really nice, to be fair. Dan, what's your favourite feature at Elm Barnes and why? The top floor kitchen, living diner in plot one. Plot one? Okay, yeah, you said it's that upstairs, you see the fields, it's just a really cool space. Cool. And you need glasses as well. I'd love to be there and look at them. <laughs> Tom, what's your favourite feature at Elm Bars and why? Uh, I think it has to be the cladding on the outside, obviously. I think it's just not something you see that often. Um, I think it just in the contrast to the surrounding countryside, it really stands out. Dom, what's your favourite feature at Elm Barnes? I'm going to say favourite feature are the doors. They're just huge and they're red right and they just look amazing. It's Thursday and I've just arrived at Everard's Meadows to meet with Nicole so you guys can get to know her a bit better. So let's go. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a bit about how you got into the property industry? Gosh, it seems so long ago now because it was about 13 or 14 years ago. So I came out of a relationship, feel like I needed to start again and I'd always had a passion for property. My granddad was a builder, my dad was always into property. Yeah. I went down that avenue, started as a negotiator, loved it. And it was just, yeah, I'd never look back. I love every minute of you it. You caught the bug. I caught the bug. <laughs> Were you always working in the same area? So I started off in Loughborough. Oh, wow. So we opened a branch there. Where was... are you originally from? So I'm from sort of Nottingham. Okay. So Castle, Nottingham. Right. So yeah, we opened that branch. It was great. I was a negotiator. Did really well. Worked my way up the chain there and went up the rankings quite quickly. Then I moved to Derby, so covered Derby. Then I came over to um, Long Eaton, so Nottingham. Yeah. And then I went to Stapleford, so again covering where I live now. Oh. I now like the fact that I cover sort of South East Derbyshire and Nottingham because they are sort of like my favourite areas. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about how you came to be self-employed and work with Hortons? Again, I think it, I came to a crossroads. Um, I'd done everything. I'd gone from being negotiated, like I say, up to valuer. Um, I'd managed branches. I ended up doing sort of 60, 70 hours a week and going home. Yeah. I'm doing all the social media because that's my passion as well. I love social media. I, I just was saying to myself, what am I doing? Mm. And then Hortons came along <laughs> and the model just pricked my ears up instantly yeah I was just thinking 
this is a breath of fresh, fresh air. It's completely me. Um, and I only ever wanted to partner up with somebody that was that got me. I'm like really caring, I like to nurture people, make sure they're looked after yeah. and be that little bit different. Hortons for me has got that kind of vibe Yeah. and I think that's why as soon as we sort of spoke I was like yeah this is the dream. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the best thing you found about being self-employed? I've got a good work-life balance, Yeah. I've got children, I've got family, I've got a lot a busy life but at the same time I am a workaholic so now I can work through the day yeah see my children for an hour or two work in the evening cherry on the cake was when my eight-year-old daughter said to me you love your job mommy don't you and I said yeah I really really do oh. and she said I want to be like you when I'm older oh. and it absolutely broke my heart because I just thought she, she will, can see yeah. that I'm passionate I love it building a legacy for my children install that into them as yeah. they grow up and that's what my main aim is. <laughs> Tell us about your latest listing. So the latest one is an exciting one actually. We've got a five double bedroom detached property, beautiful semi-rural location in Stanley Common. Um, it is just a beautiful family home. Um, really excited to get that one on. Um, it's in a great location and yeah, it should be coming live today. So we're going to do some quick fire questions. Yep. So Nicole, book or podcast? I would say I'm more of a podcast girl now. Mm. What's your favourite season? I am definitely a summer girl. I am a bit of a sun worshipper. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite chocolate bar? I... Or do you even like chocolate? Do you know what? I am a sucker for chocolate orange. They've tr I've tried everything. Honestly, I love it all. Chocolate <laughs> orange is my go-to. <laughs> What's your favourite tipple? I actually am a gin girl now. Are but you? it has to be flavoured. I don't like tonic, so it has to be with lemonade. But yeah, I'm definitely a gin girl. Uh, tell us about your dream holiday destination. So, I have travelled the world on my own when I was 20. Oh, really? Some of those destinations are unbelievable. I, I really love Australia. Yeah. That's my go-to place. Um, I love Queensland. I love Surface Paradise. So, I think I'm going to stick. Even though I've been there before, Yeah. it is just amazing. And if I could move there, I would live there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's been lovely getting to know you. Um, it's been See you soon. Thank you for having Bye. Thanks for watching this week's Behind the Scenes. We've had some amazing feedback, so if you enjoy watching, give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button uh, for new episodes every Monday. Bye.